All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to my FX Buddies, the podcast. And I say podcast because there's also a blog which can be found at myfxbuddies.blogspot.com. And there's a video. Excuse the noise, my window's open. I'm doing this really early because if I don't do it now, it's not going to get done. Um, so you'll hear cars going by, possibly music, maybe some dogs barking, you know, neighborhood noise. Anyway, um, so the blog is at myfxbuddies.blogspot.com and spotify.com will have a video if you want to see the video to follow along with the articles. And you may want to see this one. So, oh, I forgot. I forgot to put an article here. There's some good news, but, okay. Yeah. But I'm going to read this one article with the NAR goggles on. But actually, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be that. Okay. So... I think I said everything. Wherever you're watching, listening, however you're enjoying this content, if there is a join, subscribe, whatever type of button like that, click that. And that way when I do update, you'll be notified because I don't update regularly. I'm surprised I'm doing this is two days in a row. Two, maybe a day and a half. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to do this because this is, it's a little scary, but we're going to break it down. Break it down. Oh, I'm going to listen to that song. Okay, so, this is the title. Let's just get it out there. The title is Economists, There Are No Changes in the Government Program and the Official Dollar Rate will continue for three years. Ugh. What the heck? Three years? So I saw that headline and I said, okay, um, you know, I'm not going to let phase me. And it's just an economist. For one thing, it's an economist. This is not coming from the CBI or Sudani. It's not even the Parliamentary Finance Committee. Okay. But this guy, Bassam Jamil Antoine. For those of you who listen to me, remember I always say I know him because his last name is Antoine. How does he have two totally Arabic names and then the last name be Antoine? <laughs> and they interview him on TV too, right? So he's saying this. He believes the official exchange rate for the dollar will continue for three years. Well, first of all, we don't rightly know. Lord, I can't believe I just said we don't rightly know. We don't definitely know what the official rate is, right? Because they tell us it's 1310, but we've heard that it could be a thousand, right? Um, but anyway, so let's read on. Antoine told the news, the official exchange rates for the dollar are stable now but they're not. And once the budget allocations are released, you see that? So what I like about this is, again, we're getting confirmation that the budget has not been opened, right? The the 2023, for whatever reason, maybe they're waiting for 2024. I don't know what they're waiting for, but we still have time. There's still time in this year, right? My, before the ice cream land and pizza land thing broke out i was saying i felt a two percent chance of december right so there's still time and i'm gonna i think i told you yeah and so okay we'll just keep going all right so um he says once the budget allocations are released the unofficial rates will be affected by the parallel rate of the dollar. Then he added, 
the official prices will continue for three years in order to be consistent with the tripartite budget and the established government program. Okay, so if you are new, welcome. First of all, thank you. Um, there, if you weren't around for the budget, when, when they did release and put the budget in the Gazette, there's a mechanism in the budget that allows for a rate change, right? So number one, we know that's not a problem. The CBI can change the rate, you know, with our permission, of course, right? So that's not a problem. And it's saying three years, but 2023 is dang near gone. So if anything, it's two more years. But I do believe when they do this, they are going to have to go back because it's it's even in the budget. It's even in the Gazette that the 2023 budget was going to go back to January 1st of 2023. Remember that? So don't panic yet. Um, it's There's some things, you know, like I said, this is just uh, an economist. And the rate, and really we don't really care about the dollar rate right we're more concerned about the dinar rate but they're like a seesaw when one goes up the other one goes down right so yeah that's that all right but before that came out okay <laughs> so we're not going to take that as bad news we're just going to take that as news right and leave it there um but so again they're still very much in the news talking about the special programs to get the dollars into 10, I think it was 10 banks, right? Five are going through JP Morgan, five are going through Citibank, and then the foreign currencies that are going through Sing New Development Bank of Singapore, UBAF, and then I think JP Morgan and Citibank as well. Okay. So, why do I have this here? Foreign currency deals bolster Iraqi banks amid no confidence bid against, yeah, the CBI governor. So, even though, oh, no, the reason I liked this article was this one sentence here. ICB, which, who, oh, Iraq Central Bank. Okay, so this, this was in an Arab publication. So it could be anywhere, and I think it's in the UK, but it could be anywhere in the Arab world. Um, you know, sometimes like Jordan has their own news. Egypt, 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 Egypt has their own news. But then sometimes there's publications that just go out to Arabs. You know, the Arab. Uh, culture i guess so yeah but so it says iraq central bank recently decided the iraqi private banks can import foreign currencies via commercial flights so i just thought that was interesting so we know it's the private banks and possibly the state banks because we didn't see rashid and Rafadan. If anything, it would probably be the Trade Bank of Iraq. But anyway, so yeah, so there's still, even though the CBI governor is, um, they don't have confidence in him, and some people are calling for him to be removed, but Sadani is sticking with him for now. They're still moving forward, right? So that's good. I like that. I thought that was very positive. Then... This article, is this the one that came out today? Well, this, this one came out today too, but it's um, just a different article. And see, that's why I know it's very tedious. It is tedious to read these articles that talk about the same thing, but each one has its own little bit. Like that one sentence I just read, it kind of helps put it all together, right? And, um, yeah, so that's why I do that. But, 
Oh, here I thought this was interesting. Some of you may have heard me read this, but there's no compromise on the Jordanian dinar exchange rate. And this is just three sentences, three paragraphs. Um, so this is out of Jordan's news. The Central Bank of Jordan, their governor, affirmed that there is no compromise on the current exchange rate of the Jordanian dinar. So could the Jordanian dinar be about to revalue? It doesn't matter because they're already, they're like $2 and 31 cents, I think. So don't go trying to rush out and get it. It's, um, they're already at a more realistic value or maybe that is their value, you know, but all right. But then it says the CBI and the IMF, which who controls the IMF? Yes, we do. Right. Because we give the most money. So we have the most meat. Okay. All right. Um, uh, agreed on the current exchange rate policy, pegging the dinar to the dollar. This is the Jordanian dinar, right? Considering it successful and beneficial for the Jordanian economy. And lastly, the, their CBI governor, the Jordanian CBI governor, emphasized the substantial reserves, the competent management of monetary policy, the positive impact on achieving monetary stability, curbing inflation, and preserving the dinar's purchasing power. Now, who else is trying to do that? Iraq is trying to do that. And they just made the deal. They just made a whole bunch of deals with Jordan. Um, energy, importing of goods, all kinds of things. And uh, a lot of dollars go through Iraq to Jordan, right? <laughs> we recently found that out. And then now they're going to be in uh, dealing with the Jordanian dinar. So I just thought that was interesting that that's out. This might be my favorite article of the day. Is this it? Nope. This is. So this is another article about what is the importance of the recent Iraqi slash American agreement in the UAE regarding the dollar. Also, this is about the UAE. So I just have it there in case you want to read it. This is going to be short. We're almost done. Okay, we have 12 minutes. All right. So Parliamentary finance reveals to the news the details of the discussions between Iraq and America regarding the dollar. This is my favorite sentence. A member of the finance committee said in an interview that the central bank is making intensive efforts through its discussions with the U.S. Federal Reserve. I think the Treasury is there too. To ease restrictions on Iraqi banks, as well as developing practical solutions to liberalize the Iraqi currency by opening outlets in most countries of the world. Okay? They're putting the dinar in outlets in most countries of the world for dealing in various foreign currencies instead of the dollar. Now, normally that would upset me, but we want Iraq to get out of the dollar and into the dinar, right? Yeah, so this is very good, very good, and we could just end it right there, right? But I did want to show you something else. So, they put this out. Telecommunications announces the launch of the Smart Savings Card Project in Iraq. So, if you know me, you know I don't like technology and making them use cards, but it's forward movement. So, they launched a smart savings card project instead of paper savings books in cooperation with the international smart card company, KeyCard, which was the very first card that was there, all right? Um and also through the post offices. And now I wasn't around, but I'm told that once upon a time in America, banking could be done at the post office. And so here they are doing banking, certain banking. Um, it's, they'll be 
bumped up to the electronic system, they can automate postal services and get their smart card. So, and it's interesting because it's really focusing on savings. So they're saying, hey, you know, we still want you to be a saver. Just instead of having all that cash in your home, get this card that has the latest international technologies, right? So that's good. You know, it's forward movement, so we have to be happy about it. All right. What do you know about trading companies? How do you determine its trustworthiness? So this was in Iraq's news. It's another article specifically about Forex trading. The Forex exchange, sorry, the foreign exchange market known as Forex is a global market characterized by blah, 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 blah. But guess what? If you don't know anything about Forex, you could read this too. And, um, Maybe learn a little something if you care to. But yes, very interesting. It says regulating Forex brokers in the Middle East. So that's further down. But I put that there if you'd like to read that. So that's it. This is a short one. But I did want to get that out. Because I have a sneaky suspicion. Some people in Denarland are not going to want to talk about this article. And we just have to face it. And... We face it by picking it apart. So it's just an economist. It's only one economist. And we're already one year into the three-year budget. We know there's a mechanism in the budget that allows for the rate to change, right? And the CBI is the one that controls the rate with our uh, authority or authorization. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. Um, and if anything else comes out that I feel needs to be addressed or is spectacular, right? Because we're waiting for something spectacular, then I'll do another one. And I hope they surprise me. All right. Enjoy the rest of your morning, evening, night, noon, whatever time frame you're enjoying this content. Um, accumulate while we wait for the rate to appreciate. Pay all your bills. Don't miss any meals. Until next time.